you ever wonder what it would be like to write out the perfect game plan, but even better than that, to go out and to flawlessly execute that game plan? Well, today I'm going to give you three tips, three game changing, actually three possible life changing tips to help you be the best play caller that there is. And I'm not talking about just the best play caller in high school. I'm talking about being better than college coaches and being better than professional coaches. So make yourself one of the elite, one of the top 5%. Make sure that you follow these three tips. And at the end of this video, in all honesty, you're going to be able to be one of the tops in all of your profession. Welcome everybody, this is Tony Franklin. I've spent 53 years of my life in the game of football. The last 40 years I spent coaching. I've coached from seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, JV. I've been a varsity uh, head football coach and assistant coach. I've also coached at the highest levels of college football as a position coach and as an offensive coordinator. One of the things that I've enjoyed the most is that during my career, for whatever reason, I've turned into a really good quarterback coach. I've had nine quarterbacks in high school, college, and arena football that have gone on to be players of the year, including the number one pick in the draft, Jared Goff. That goes on to be an all pro for the Rams, uh, taking the Rams to the Super Bowl, and now with the Detroit Lions. So those are some of the proudest moments for me as a position coach coaching quarterbacks. But the number one thing I've done that matters the most to you is that I've been able to help hundreds upon hundreds of high school football coaches and college coaches to improve their careers. I've been able to help those guys jump into the top 5% highest paid coaches in all of their profession, in both high school and in college. I've also been able to help guys to double their income and even triple their income and even more than that. But the thing that I've been most proud of is that since I have retired, I have gone back and I have found a way to make the system that I teach, Coach TF365, a new creative and innovative plug and play system to where that I send 15 to 45 minute videos to you every single day, 365 days out of the year with the most innovative, creative ways to become a better football coach, to game plan, to be a better human being, to learn how to deal with such things as COVID. So I do all those things uh, as a consultant to you guys. I work very hard to make your life easier. And by me doing this, my goal is you don't have to work 80 hour weeks. You don't have to work for somebody that you don't like because you're gonna be in high demand. And when you become in high demand because you win championships and because you continue to improve as a football coach, you're able to make choices and decisions that are better for your family. So just remember, Go to CoachTF.com, okay? When you get there, you're going to read a bunch of testimonials and then book a call with me. Book a call as soon as you can. And that's going to make sure that you double your income and reach the top 5% of your profession. Hey, everybody. What I want to talk about today is how to become a great play caller. And the only way that you're going to do that is you're gonna practice calling plays under duress, okay? And what exactly does that mean? It means that you wanna put yourself under pressure. My story is the first time I got to call plays, I was a junior in high school and I got to coach the powder puff team. I got to coach the juniors. The first play of the game I called was a touchdown. The last play of the game I called was a touchdown and we got beat 35 to 14. That's the only two plays I called. I had practiced those two plays forever. They were both gimmicks and trick plays, and we scored on them. However, the first time I really got to call a game, the first time I really got to call plays in the game, I was a, a student teacher at Murray High School in Murray, Kentucky. We were walking down the field near the end of the season. I'd been saying all year long, man, if I got to call plays, we would do this and we would do that. I'm walking out on the field. My older mentors, 15 years ahead of me, said, hey, Franklin, you always say you want to call plays. You want to call them? I said, absolutely. So I got to call my uh, plays for the first time. We got beat 24 to nothing. And I don't believe we got a first down the entire day. 
And what was my experience? What was my learning experience from that? You better practice calling plays all the time and be ready because you never know when that may come. I've always thought about this. What if it had happened during COVID and I couldn't call plays? We didn't have anybody else on our uh, offense that had ever called a play before in their life. So you want to practice calling plays so that you're always ready to call plays at any time. And now, if you're the play caller or you're not the play caller, I'll give you another story. Neil Brown, the head coach at West Virginia now, making over $3 million a year. When Neil first started out, he played for me at the University of Kentucky, played for me in arena football. I gave him a job uh, at Troy University. Neil was the receiver coach. Every week he would come in with a game plan with ideals and all this stuff. I would look at it for three minutes when he walked out of the room and I would throw it in the trash can. But what Neil was doing, he was practicing for the day that he was ready to be an offensive coordinator and the day that he was ready to call plays. He practiced calling plays all the time. So two years after he got there, he became the youngest offensive coordinator in all of college football and the rest is history. He had a great career as a coordinator, became a head coach at Troy eventually, and then eventually a head coach at the University of West Virginia, where he's one of the top uh, football coaches in the country today. So if you're in a situation where you're not the play caller, practice calling plays every day anyway. Make your own script out. Watch television. Watch a game. It's third and one. What out of your offense would you do right now? It's third and eight. What would you call right now? You're on the one yard line coming out. What would you call? Write your own scripts. It doesn't have to be what your offensive coordinator or your head coach is calling. Write down what you would call and practice it. If you are the play caller, I did this until the last play that I ever called in my life. During the week, constantly put myself under pressure to where that I had to call plays as if it were a game as if it were third and two, as if it were third and four, as if we just got a turnover, as if we were on the one yard line coming out. Put yourself in those situations. Write long scripts that tell you what to do, but get in the habit of where you can call it without having to look at every single detail off of a piece of paper. It's okay if you call it off paper. A lot of great coaches call off paper all the time. However, if you end up being one of those that can call it from rhythm and call it from feel without having to look at a piece of paper all the time, I believe that it will make you a better offensive coordinator, better play caller. Good luck. Study all summer. Be ready to go. That's it, everybody. Those are the life-changing, career-changing, career improvement points that we have for today. If you enjoyed this, please go visit coachtf.com. Better than that, Book a call with me today. Get on the phone and give me a call. Improve your life. And then the most important thing, never forget, do something good today for somebody who could never repay you as long as you live. If you do that, you'll have lived a great life.